All right, Siberia OS. Now, that is an exciting ROM if you ask K20 Pro users. And when such ROMs come to devices like Poco X3 Pro and the Mi 11X, it really means that the experience will be on another level. And that's what we are experiencing today. We are talking about the latest update of Siberia OS based on Android 12 for the Mi 11X, the Redmi K40, also known as the Poco F3. This is a quick review. By no means, this is a complete review because I've used it for less than 24 hours. But that doesn't stop us from giving our verdict to you whether you should try it or not. So before we get into all those details, if you haven't already well please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this if you think you like chatting with like-minded people well we have more than 1000 to 1200 people on our telegram group join us there phone ops army and that will be amazing a lot of fun if you want to follow us on social media we're present on instagram twitter and facebook you can join us there and last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort well please click on the join a button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people People. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so let's see what we have here. Siberia OS official Android 12 updated on the 23rd of November 2021. Now the change log, we'll not get into it because it just says initial build. This is the official version though. And yes, we are talking about Siberia OS. It looks beautiful, it works great. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So the moment you boot into Siberia OS on the Mi 11X, it is a very, very clean UI, basic icons at the bottom, nothing going on here, no widgets, no search bar, nothing, just icons at the bottom. To the left, you do have the Google feed which in my opinion out of the three devices is the smoothest on 120Hz mode custom ROMs on the Mi 11 especially the ones which are based on Android 12 are giving a butter smooth experience which is really really neat even if you see like this you know the animations the smoothness they are just top-notch they work absolutely fine now Siberia OS does come with a very very basic camera application called Google Camera Go and that does do a good job of giving you basic camera capabilities at the same time this ROM doesn't boot with a lot of bloatware which means there's a lot of free RAM free processing power and that is the reason you will experience that the ROM is very very smooth if you go to the home settings though you will have I think is the quick step launcher which is getting some customizations one by one I might be wrong there but if you you actually go to say widgets over here you have your Android 12 widgets and if you go to clock uh, you just have two clocks you don't have the beautiful you know stopwatch and uh, the other uh, Android 12 clock or Android S clock you can install that that's completely fine if you go to wallpaper and customization you do have curated culture over here you have community lens my photos there you go you have curated culture i started liking a lot of curated culture photos to be honest wallpapers rather so the moment you set up a wallpaper monet ui doing its splendid job working absolutely fine across the board now you do have a lot of quick tiles at the top which does give you access to the screen recorder and on this device as well screen recording has been working absolutely fine unlike the poco x3 pro so as you can see, we've started the screen recording and there is no stutter, no jitter, no matter where you travel into the UI, it works absolutely splendid. So that's neat. That means, you know, if, if you're installing a custom ROM, you don't need to worry about, uh, you know, looking for a screen recorder and stuff. That is something really, really good. You can record device audio. No, no matter where you travel into the UI, it works absolutely. Yep. So the screen recorder is working fine and if you see over here you do have a ton of click quick tiles over here you do have live display and your privacy access tiles and you have reboot you have caffeine you have camera you have record video selfie a lot of focus on the camera there i don't know why uh, i have not seen that in uh, k20 pro but that's good they are having a new approach that's good you do have the power of menu over here and you have the option to edit these styles from here so the moment you go to settings you go to about phone and you go to android version you will see this is siberia version 5.0 with a november security patch and you do have your standard android 12 easter egg present over here which works absolutely fine there you go so you know at least as far as the security and stuff is concerned this is really really amazing now what really matters over here is you have thermal profiles in battery settings so that's good it also gives you access to 180 hertz touch sampling rate now that's something really really neat as you can see over here i've not tested if it is actually working or not but that option is present and most of the time 
when that option is present it works absolutely fine if you ask me about the charging speeds splendid charging speeds are absolutely okay and they are working great now if you talk about the battery backup over here though we've used the phone for 58 minutes and we are at 76 percent battery so that's about four four and a half hours of screen on time i'm pretty sure they will improve on the battery life but remember we've been running benchmarks back to back so you'll probably get five hours of screen on time which is not bad for a device which has a 4000 milliamp hour battery and uh, such a big 120 hertz and you know 120 hertz uh, amoled display anyways if you actually go to siberia settings over here you have system in which you have general tweaks for usb configuration then you do have buttons which enables advanced restart power menu customization playback control volume rocker wake volume key cursor control then you have the dialer just pulse flash on incoming call then you have panels status bar customization a ton of options available for status bar customization then you have notifications which has vibrate on touch show brightness slider show brightness slider in quick settings adaptive brightness button brightness slider at bottom expanded quick settings right now you do have the gestures of swipe to screenshot including expanded screenshot that work absolutely okay you have ui settings over here so you can override the monet ui next up you have lock screen settings in which you do have a ton of customizations so that's good and that's about info of this siberia team so the point that i'm trying to make over here is siberia os is not only based on android 12 it is already doing a great job and they're giving you a ton of customization options over here if you talk about the smoothness of the ui it's beautiful all the android almost all the android 12 roms on this device are giving a very very good experience with very very good feel the fingerprint scanner unlock works absolutely fine i'm holding it the other way around probably that's the reason it's not working but as you can see fingerprint scanner works and this beautiful animation that you have over here just see just have a look at this animation it looks great even the lock screen the monitor UI thing looks great and when you go ahead and lock it the always on display is splendid right now moving on let's quickly talk about some important factors over here for example if we talk about safety net over here passes out of the box if we talk about play store and the play store certification device is certified and if we talk about widewine l1 l1 certification is great as well now quickly let's go ahead and have a look at the benchmark numbers the first thing that we will have a look at is of course cpu throttle test so let's go here let's go to the screenshots cpu throttle to 93 percent of its max performance and i remember those are good numbers over there 226,385 GIPS, excellent scores. If you talk about Geekbench over here, it did score extremely high, but for a custom ROM, initial build and stuff, 970 single core, 3090 multi core. That's one of my dream GPUs, by the way, 3090. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, pretty good, pretty rock solid score there. And let's talk about N22 over here. 688,736 rock solid score once again although not quite 700,000 but this is higher than the stock ROM so all in all Siberia OS based on Android 12 is doing a splendid job for the Mi 11X the benchmark numbers are great it's working fine I'll probably try gaming on this let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is Kalash signing off it for one ops keep smiling take care goodbye